Hey guys, Stephen back here with uh, another video on R config. So today I came across a security vulnerability announcement from Cisco. And you know, we see these often, right? From various vendors, some of them critical, some of them not so critical in severity, but this one seems pretty serious. Um, and I thought I'd just do a very quick video on how R config can help you find and remediate this problem on your network infrastructure real quick. So vulnerability here on and i can post um, the the link in the notes uh, below but the vulnerability here basically uh, affects cisco ios xe software if the web ui feature is enabled then um, it is a type of vulnerability where an unauthenticated attacker can create an account on the affected system with privilege level 15 access via the http um, server so that's pretty serious stuff right now look, it's always kind of if if it's unsecured and on the internet and and you've got it to be enabled, like you probably shouldn't. So we're going to find that using our config and remediate it. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's not a vulnerability to be taken lightly. So do please look at your infrastructure, look at your configurations, and make sure you're protected. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our config real quick. We're going to look for this code IP HTTP server or ITP IP HTTP secure server. And uh, we're going to try and remove those. Okay, so let's go over to V6 here. Let's get logged in. And, you know, I do have IP HTTP server configured on uh, lab, various lab devices for different reasons, right? Some just because we did at some point and whatever. It doesn't doesn't really matter. This is lab equipment. None of this is production gear, but, but we're going to have a quick look, right? So it's if I look at the show version for this router one, if we just bring it up here and I can just do a control, oh, sorry, not the show version. What am I doing? The show run. Thank you, whoever said that out loud. Uh, the show, sorry, IP HTTP. So it is there, okay? And authentication and a bunch of different things are set up. What I'm going to attempt to do is remove it. You, What I recommend you do with our config is go to search, uh, select your category of devices. Maybe you've got edge devices or core routers or something like that. Do an IP HTTP server. Whoops. IP. Oh, it's not going in. IP HTTP server. And then do a search on the latest only, in my case. And we get nine results, nine matches, right? So, you know, again, if you've got internet facing equipment with IP HTTP server enabled, you're going to want to search and, and see where this is. So we can see on the various devices on router one, router two, router four that we're getting this, these results back. So it's time to go remediate, okay? So what I'm gonna do to remediate is I'm gonna create a snippet and uh, just call it remediation for brevity's sake. Um, now I think the config looks like this, conf t no IP HTTP server end and write mem, okay? Perfect, that's our snippet added. So I'm gonna do this from the command line in our config so you can actually see it happening with the debug switch. So the snippet ID is 1002. The device ID, we're gonna run it just against one device. You can run it against categories and tags and all different things, but we're just gonna run it against one device. Is device ID 1001. So on the our config CLI, we're gonna do a php artisan we're going to look for our command it's php artisan or config send snippet okay so php artisan send snippet now if i hit enter it's going to say you need the snippet id which is 1002 and the device id which is 1001 1002 1001 and send and what i actually wanted to do was the minus d switch uh, so we could actually see the output but look we got it we got it here it did a conf t it did an oip http server it did an end it did a write mem and if i go back to if i go back to the screen here and if i do a download now i should see i should see it's finished i'm just going to refresh this page and look at show run there's a remediation <laughs> snippet that gets saved as a configuration show run and do an f control f 
IP HTTP, and and now we have it turned off. Okay, so the the we we should have probably done it for IP IP HTTP secure server as well. But you get the point, right? So within seconds, I've removed that vulnerability from uh, my network. So guys, take this one seriously. Have a look at it. Use our config, search your configurations in seconds, get your snippet out in seconds, protect your network. Um, after which you can uh, look at more secure configurations if you have to use an IP HTTP server uh, on your Cisco devices. So that's it. Thanks a lot, folks.